What is up guys, Rickakis here going over the 300 attack Atheon's epilogue. So this is going to answer the question, is it worth it to fully upgrade the Atheon's epilogue? And the answer is yes. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. Too many people are kind of ignoring this gun, putting it on the back burner because it is relatively easy to get compared to some other guns. Now, yes, you do have to beat the raid on normal in order to get this gun, but that's it. You don't have to beat the raid on hard. It's not exotic. So you have a decently high chance of getting this. A lot of people do have this gun. Now, the reason it is so important to get to 300 is because of two aspects of the gun rather than the gun itself. Now, the first aspect is oracle damage this is extremely important if you want to do the raid on hard the oracles on hard mode they have substantially more health than the oracles on normal mode so having a primary weapon that does extra damage against oracles is extremely helpful and comes in handy a lot now the second more important aspect is void damage simply being a primary that does void damage in fact the only primary in the game right now that deals void damage this weapon is so phenomenally useful when you have a void burn skull on so when you're doing a nightfall or sometimes the weekly when there's void burn this gun becomes so so powerful and it is so helpful to have a primary weapon where you can get lots of ammo for you're not really having much ammo issues for your primary weapon that is having a phenomenal damage output because of the burn you should your first goal in this game is to be trying to get a sing a primary of all the different elements and this fills the primary of void damage now not only is void damage exceptionally good when you obviously there's a void burn but also just being void damage is going to make this gun very very useful during the raid because of minotaurs minotaurs always have void shields so whether you're just fighting a normal minotaur on the raid on normal defending uh, or sorry attacking the oracles or you're fighting the Praetorians trying to defend the plates on the raid on hard, you are really going to be noticing an extra damage output when you're fighting these Minotaurs because they have void shields. You're going to be able to bring down their shield much quicker with a void primary like the Atheon's epilogue. The gun in and of itself isn't actually that great. It behaves basically exactly like pretty much any other purple auto rifle that has maxed out fire rate and minimize impact but again the fact that it has extra damage against oracles and it does void as a primary means that it is extremely useful in the end game content and maxing its damage to full aka getting its attack to 300 is extremely important especially because you can bring this weapon i've brought it myself to the raid on hard several times and so this weapon is perfectly good and can function on the raid on hard hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to rate comment and subscribe for more destiny content and as always have a good day.